Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Postman tutorial series. So uh, in our previous video, we have understood how API, what is API and how API works. Uh, so now in this video, we will be understanding how, uh, what are, what is uh, HTTP protocols and what are the response, various response codes that you get uh, over the network. Okay. Once you send a request, okay, to an API. So uh, why to understand this HTTP protocols? So HTTP protocols are important because any any communications that you do over the over an internet is uh, done through HTTP, HTTP protocols. Uh, and one more protocol is there HTTPS, which means secure, which has SSL certificate, uh, which is in, uh, which is secured one. And now in this video, we'll be talking about HTTP protocols. So let's get started. So uh, if you head over to the official MDN uh, web docs uh, and overview and overview of HTTP here you can see HTTP is a protocol for fetching uh, resources such as HTML document. Uh, so assume uh, uh, you are the client and client in the sense uh, you are using a browser uh, which is any browser uh, maybe Microsoft Edge and Chrome. Uh, so the browser are intended to show the HTML, HTML, CSS and JavaScript pages. So, we, so you see here the whole page which is well formatted using the CSS and JavaScript uh, adding the functionality to it. So it, it is a protocol for batching the resources such as HTML documents. It is a foundation of any data exchange on the web or the over the internet and it is client server protocol. So the client is my client is browser which is a uh, try uh, fetching the resource from the developer.mozilla.org it, it is the endpoint which means requests are initiated by the recipient uh, usually the web browser as i say as i said a complete document is reconstructed from the sub different sub documents fetch for an instance text layout description images and video and more okay so th this is one uh, good pictorial diagram of how http protocol works so uh, these are the CSS uh, CSS layer. Uh, these are the images various. These are the uh, we add, add that we put in our website. These are the video that we play on a website. These are the textual uh, data that we have in uh, our uh, website. And this is a, a whole represents as a web document. As you can see, this is the whole web document. And over the internet, uh, they uh, developer.mozilla.org have their own web server and the own video server and the own ad server so these requests a uh, get request so so to fetch a data we do, uh, send the get request uh, so we do the we, this video layout will send a get request to the video server and ad server will send the request to the ads and web server will hold uh, hold the html css and javascript for that entire web page so uh, this is how the http uh, protocol will work and uh, one more one more uh, good pictorial representation of the http uh, protocol over here you can see you, if you just you just go over uh, this link and uh, you can uh, read this entire document where where they have uh, told you how the http protocols works in depth uh, all those uh, yeah here you can see get slash http slash 1.1 so get is the method name uh, path we are trying to access is the slash means roots and the version of the protocol that we mentioned over here okay so the, our host in this uh, url is developer.mozilla.org and the accept language is fr which is headers and now uh, if you go ahead and th this is how the http protocols works uh, over the internet and, and now uh, if you uh, see our previous uh, example of this uh, where we have sent our first to get request you can see our we are getting status as 200 okay so these are nothing but the http response codes okay so if you go in, uh, go to again go to the mdn web docs where http response status codes there are various codes that are there for various types of responses okay so if you got any uh, code in your postman uh, like here 200 okay which is in between 100 to 199 that represents a uh, information responses okay and uh, similarly uh, any any response that is in between uh, 200 to 299 it is a successful response and similarly 3 uh, 300 to 399 uh, redirection messages and the client uh, error responses are uh, in between 400 to 499 so anything uh, that gets uh, wrong at the client side so you will get a uh, error between uh, 400 to 499 and you will you can understand that uh, something is going wrong at the client side itself 
and if you are getting any code between 500 to 599 then in that case you can understand that uh, it's something is wrong at the server side and you can go and uh, try to rectify that error at the server side itself okay so these are the response codes that uh, you need to understand uh, so that uh, you can get uh, uh, the this status code easily and you can understand what are uh, what is happening uh, when i hit that uh, api request okay fine uh, so these are the info uh, if you go over to this page uh, you can see 100 is for continue 100 101 is for uh, switching the protocols and successful responses are the request succeeded the result meaning of success depends on the http method so methods are get head put post and trace we'll see uh, in uh, our upcoming videos what is get method what is put, put uh, post method put delete uh, okay so we'll uh, see uh, in our upcoming videos uh, that one as well so you can see uh, 200 is an okay so everything working fine you get that uh, result as intended over here uh, for the 200 okay status okay so uh, you can go toward this uh, to this link and you can find this uh, official document of mdn web docs and you can uh, learn uh, the different web uh, http codes response codes status codes and uh, yeah this is uh, what uh, yeah you can see various browser uh, compatibility are also there whether the 100 code is supported on the chrome yes the, uh, here you can see that uh, well formatted chart is also there so this is how uh, http protocol works and these are the various response codes that you get uh, whenever you are trying to hit an uh, uh, api request over the internet so uh, you could have asked why to use postman right uh, so one thing is uh, when you are working in an organization uh, there is one uh, project that you, you are building and there are some apis that are required for that project uh, so the front end and back end development or the both are different in, the, in if you are working in an organization and you you have seen that uh, front end is front end ui is not developed yet but the apis that are uh, used in that project are developed okay so in that case uh, you have to test those apis without the ui uh, assume you are uh, building a uh, registration form where you are taking the user's input like uh, first name, username, password, all those things and you are fetching those things from the user uh, to the server and you are uh, trying to register that uh, user to that uh, server, right? So in that case, APIs are required and uh, you see uh, front-end is not developed yet but the APIs that are required to register the user uh, are developed then in that case without a, a front-end UI the postman uh, the tool is very useful and handy uh, because it will uh, you give the end uh, url over here and whatever type of request you are uh, doing is uh, you can select from here whether it is gate post push patch delete uh, and you, you can pass the query parameter uh, to the body as well and the parameters you can pass over here and you can test your apis over here itself without the fronting being developed okay this is how uh, postman uh, you can use okay so i hope you got some idea uh, what uh, what is the http protocols and uh, how the response codes status codes we get from the uh, http protocol right so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one